with Pokemon Mystery Dungeon. So we're going to jump right into this. We're going to play in English. Yes. This game automatically saves your progress. Rescue team. Okay. New game. Welcome. This is the portal that leads to the world of Pokemon. But before I can let you through, I have several questions for you. I want you to answer them sincerely. Are you ready? Okay. Let the interview begin. I'm going to try to answer this as well as I can. Can you sincerely thank someone when you feel grateful? Absolutely. A human hand extends out of a toilet. Okay, uh, I probably wouldn't scream and run, but I would probably close the lid without a word because I wouldn't know how to handle the situation. I definitely probably wouldn't shake hands with it because I would be too weirded out that it came out of the toilet. And like I said, I probably, these two would be like, con like, Either you're scared to death and you run, or you find it so weird that you accept it. And I feel like I'm in between because I just wouldn't understand what was going on at the time. Do you like groan inducing puns? I love them. I love puns, so. It's a weekend, but no one will play with you. What do you do? Oh. Uh, so I usually hang around. I don't really go on trips very often. I usually just like chill if no one's going to hang out with me. I don't huddle in a corner though. A foreign person has started up a conversation with you. To be honest, you don't have a clue what this fellow is saying. How do you reply? Um... It would be, um, could you say that again? Because I would genuinely want to know what they were saying. Your friend is being bullied. What do you do? Caution the bully from afar. Heckle the bully from behind. I would face up to the bully. I don't, I don't know how to keep my mouth shut. You come across a treasure chest. How do you react? Open it right away. Could be a trap. It's going to be empty. Okay. I probably would open it right away and that's what gets me into trouble. There's a person you like, but there's no opportunity to get close. What do you do? Uh, okay, so I'm very bad when it comes to crushes. Like, I get very shy. So I wouldn't be able to tell them my love. I don't pull pranks to get attention to you. I might say hello or look from afar. I'll probably say hello. I'll be friendly. And then wish they would like me. Do you want to play as a girl or a boy? A girl. Like, I can dream about them liking me. Please don't be something bad. You appear to be the calm type. You're capable of giving advice to friends with worries. You don't like to fight. You're a warm, kind-hearted person who cares. You must have many friends who look up to you. However, you may also be somewhat gullible, <laughs> as well as a little careless, and even a little meddlesome. Yeah, probably. You might want to keep those points in mind. A calm person like you should be. Oh dear god. I don't want to be a Charmander. Okay, I lied. <laughs> I don't want to be a Charmander. 
Aww. Man. Okay. We're gonna pause real quick and we're gonna take this quiz again <laughs> because I feel like I would, or maybe I should, no, I am not a Charmander. <laughs> we're gonna pause and we're gonna come back to this because a Charmander is cool, but I don't wanna be Charmander. Okay, let's pause. Okay, we are back here again. We are gonna give this another go. Now, I don't know what I'm gonna do if I get something I don't like again. Uh, let's, let's questions. I want you to answer them sincerely. Are you ready? Okay. Let the interview begin. Okay. You win a lottery. What do you do with the money? What if I would want it to do all three? I would save it. Because it's better to save and invest. What is when the going gets tough, do you get going? No. I actually don't fully. When the going gets tough, do you get going? I'm gonna have to pause again. I'm sorry, I don't know what that means. My brain. Okay, I am back and I am stupid. I do try to work through the tough times. So, yes. Can you go into a haunted house? Uh, no problem. I love haunted houses. Do you sometimes run out of things to do all of a sudden? Yes. It, I hate it. Do you tend to laugh a lot? Yes. There's a scream from behind a door. How will you react? Ink open the door and scream in unison. Okay. I would probably yank open the door because I go to investigate. Because I'm a curious person. On vacation outings, you want to go with others. Absolutely. It is a pleasant day at the beach. How do you feel? This feels great. I love being outdoors, so. Do you want to play as a boy or... I flew through that. So this was kind of a hand of more of my personality. You appear to be the brave type. You have a strong sense of justice. You hate evil. You would take on any opponent. You are truly a hero. Go forth for justice, for peace on earth. Fight with the forces of evil. If I'm wrong, work at becoming a true hero. A brave person like you should be. Mm, I don't want to be a machomp. Screw it, I can't. You guys, I can't, I can't, I can't. I want to be a Bulbasaur. <laughs> I cheated, I know. What would your partner be? She's a Pokemon you want as your partner for this group. Who will your partner be? I feel like I should choose one of these two, but... Mm, I kind of like Mudkip. <laughs> I'm a grass type, so... Fire is going to be a pain in my butt. Water, not so much. Or I could have a Skitty or Eevee. We're going to go with Cyndaquil. Yep. Should your partner... You're going to be a boy. A boy Cyndaquil, yes. What is your partner's name? Oh god. Uh You shall be what I went with for the vampire. Just cause I like the name and my brain is whoa is blanking on a name. 
you shall be Emery. Kind of like em Ember. we are. Yes, this is us. Okay, we're all set. Let's get you into the world of Pokemon. Go for it. I'm sorry, guys, I cheated. Where am I? But I did two quizzes and got ones I didn't want. <laughs> Am I dreaming this? I feel a pleasant breeze. I hear a voice from somewhere. I wonder who it is. I really didn't want to be a Machop. Excuse me. Please wake up. Come on, wake up. You're falling awake. Great. Ugh. Oh, what? Where is this? You were passed out here. I'm glad to see you awake. I'm Emery. Glad to meet you. And you are? I've never seen you around before. You know what? I'm feeling guilty. Okay. Maybe three times the charm. I felt bad. But before I can let you through, I have several questions. Yeah. I will try my best to go with it. Even if I cringe really badly. Do you sometimes run out of things to do all of a sudden? Yes. A friend brought over something you've forgotten. How do you thank your friend? Uh... I would probably say thanks of the joke. Like, I'm dumb and I lost a D. Yes, I tend to laugh a lot. You're going to bungee jumping for the first time. Since it's scary, you decide to test the jump with a doll. The bungee cord snaps. But you still try to make a jump? Y yes. You just gotta fix it. A human hand extends out of the toilet. Here we go. Close the lid without a word. Your country leader is in front of you. How do you speak to him or her? Uh. Mm. I probably would be. It depends on what we're talking about. That would be nervous, but I might. In general, yeah, I'd probably be pretty nervous. I was gonna say in general, but I have anxiety. Do you occasionally consider yourself dull and overly cautious? No. Not at all. Have you ever made a pitfall trap? Yes! Like, I wonder if that meant in real life, but in Animal Crossing, I have. Absolutely. Pitfall traps everywhere. You appear to be the naive type. You're highly curious and you're, you love rare things. You have a cheerful and carefree attitude, which should make things fun for the people around you. But you do have one flaw. You can be childish. You can never sit still. You're always on the move. You can also be selfish, so you should watch yourself. A naive person like you should be. A Evie. Ah, <sighs> sure. I said I would try to go with it. And our partner is going to be a Bulby. Since I can't be the Bulbasaur. Yep. Okay. We're going to call you. You're going to be Sage. Or maybe Oakley. Nah, I like Sage better. And is 
Sage, right? Yes. Okay, now we're into the game. <laughs> yeah, I'm a normal. I'm a normie. Let's get you into the Pokemon world. Go for it. I said three times the charm. I was very scared. Where am I? Am I dreaming this? I feel a pleasant breeze. I hear a voice from somewhere. I wonder who it is. Hey. Hey, wake up. Wake up already. Okay, they reacted differently. Oh, good. Your family came too. Cyndaquil was like, hey, please wake up. Where is this? You were passed out here. I'm glad you woke up. I'm Sage. Glad to meet you. So who might you be? I haven't seen your face around here. Huh? You say you're a human? But any which way I look at you. You're a normal Eevee. It's true. I've turned into an Eevee. But why? I don't remember anything. You're some kind of weird. So what's your name? What do you call yourself? My name? That's right. My name is B. I am B the Eevee. Is B okay? Yes. Uh-huh, B. That's a funny name. Somebody, please help me. Huh? I hear shouting over there. What's the matter? It's horrible. My caterpie fell into a cavern. My poor baby. What? A huge fissure open fissure opened to the ground and my caterpie fell in. He's too young to crawl out by himself. When I went to get my baby, Pokemon suddenly attacked me. Huh? You were attacked? By other Pokemon? They must be enraged by the... And are out of control of the Pfizer. That's what I think. I'm not strong enough to fend off those wild Pokemon. What will become of my baby? Oh, what am I to do? Oh dear, oh dear. We can't just do nothing. Let's go help this kid. Tiny Woods. Could this be a mystery dungeon? It is. It's a mystery dungeon. A mystery dungeon is truly a mysterious place. The layout and the items change every time you enter. You can proceed by using the stairs, but first we have to climb the stairs. You remember that Butterfree said Pokemon in the dungeon attacked, right? If necessary, we gotta fight. We can do it, B. Yeah. <coughs> what? Did it just... Bam. Heya. What? Fine, what? Good job, Sage. Nice! You're strong! Okay, moving is a little wompy. Yellow, you yellow, green, 16, blue is items where to stick. Okay. Focus money that we can use. Okay. A berry. Let's go. Live in the adventure. Look around. 
Look around. We got a hundred of gold. Quick attack. Yeah. Yep, and we're going down. B3. Oh god, eggs. Pokemon sleep, nothing, nothing. Fight. Yes. Gotta. We're really going through it. Oh dang, that's a. I was gonna say, that's a lot of enemies. Enemy defeated. Level up. Look at Sage go. Leveled up. I can do even better now. Yeah, I'm so proud of you. Can rescue you. Huh? Your mom's waiting. Let's get you out. Okay. We did it. We successfully rescued the tiny woods. My baby's safe. I'm sorry, I don't know how I could ever thank you properly. Aw, uh, don't worry, lady. There has been a lot of quakes and pleasures lately. It's dangerous. I'm glad your little guy's not hurt, honestly. Please, may I have your names at least? I'm Sage, and this is B. Cool. He's, uh, staring at me adoringly. There's sparkly eyes. It's a little embarrassing. But this doesn't feel bad, either. It's like I'm a hero. Helping Pokemon in trouble might be a good experience. Thank you, Sage and B. I know it isn't really enough, but this is a token of our thanks. Please accept... Ooh, reviver seed and a berry and 500 gold. Thank you so much. Goodbye. Hey, thanks for helping me out. You're pretty tough. I respect that. So, uh, what are you going to do after this? I mean, say B, if you don't have anywhere to stay, why don't you come with me? Well, this is the place. Wow. I can't explain, but I'm happy. I'm a human being, but I like this place. I feel weirdly happy. It might be an instinct thing for Pokemon. Maybe this is what it feels like to want to wag your tail. It doesn't matter. I'm happy. Maybe I feel that way because I'm an Eevee. <laughs> oh, B? I can tell you're impressed. I thought you'd like it. I figured you'd find this an easy place to live, B. In fact, I was sure that you'd like it. This is your mailbox. This is where you'll get mail from other Pokemon. You know that fires your cat or pee fell into? There's been other natural disasters like that all of a sudden. A lot of Pokemon out there are hurting from those disasters. I want to help Pokemon like that. I want to help make this a safer place for Pokemon. And, uh, I think you're capable after seeing how the, after seeing how you did rescuing Caterpie. I gotta move. How would you like to form a rescue team with me? B, I think we'd make the world's greatest rescue team. How about it? Form a rescue team. Okay, that's done it. Starting right now, me and you, B, we're partners. I'm counting on you. The team's name? Actually, I haven't thought of one yet. Hey B, what do you think would be a good name? Uh, now I don't know about that. 
Honey. Down under. There's not enough room, I don't think. We're just gonna call it Honey Grove like we have for so many other things. It's Honey Grove Rescue Team. Or should I do do since we have lost Honey Grove? Yeah, we'll do Honey Do. We have Honey Do Island on Animal Crossing and now Honey Do Rescue Team. Honey Do? Yeah, that's a good name. It suits us. Oh, and one more thing. I have decided to wear this on the day I got started on the rescue team. I have two of them, so let's put them on. Let me put on the scarf we got from Sage. Yeah, look at us. Ooh, nice. Hey, it looks good on you. Wearing this makes me feel focused, like we're on a team, you know? Rescue team, honeydew. We begin tomorrow. Let's do it. Look at us. We're cute. And that is how... B and Sage began their careers together as a rescue team. The next morning. I'm still the same. The way I look, I'm still an Eevee. But why would I be transformed into a Pokemon? Hmm, I don't understand this at all. Oh, that's right. That Pokemon. I think it was Sage. We made a promise to form a rescue team together. I wonder what Sage is doing. I should go out. Can I save? I know we're running out of time. That's the only reason I'm asking. Ah, uh, oh no. Haha, <laughs> sorry. I was so excited. I've been waiting out here since dawn. I guess I just fell asleep. Anyway, our rescue team officially begins. Let's do this right. Uh, so, uh... We don't have any job offers yet, haha. <laughs> oh yeah, maybe there's some uh, something in the mailbox? The mailbox contained a rescue team starter set. I knew it'd be there. It's a rescue team starter set. You always get one when you start a rescue team. Sage opened the rescue team starter set. There was a rescue team badge inside. There's a toolbox inside. There was also an issue of Pokemon news inside. Yeah, there's all sorts of good stuff in it. This rescue team badge is proof that you're in a rescue team. The toolbox too. You can use it to keep items that you find in dungeons. I'll put the stuff that Butterfree gave us in there. Might as well put it to good use. Items are really useful. Let it, let's use them on our adventures. And we have a copy of Pokemon news. As useful information for rescuers. I'll leave the Pokemon news in the mailbox. You should read it later. And let's see. Is there any other mail? Did we miss anything? Sage checked the mailbox. But the mailbox was empty. Okay, so there isn't any mail for us after all. If there were any rescue jobs, we would be getting mail, but... I guess no one knows us because we just started this team. Ha ha ha. Pop, pop. Huh? What's up? Clunk. Okay, real quick. We're going to have to end the video here, unfortunately. So I hope you guys enjoyed. I'm sorry it took me three times to figure out what Pokemon I was, but 
I think we're good. We're going to continue from here. Anyways, I hope you have a good day.